soon, Dublin will see another hotel open on exit 51, and it's going to be the biggest in town. The Dublin Visitor Center says they've been planning for this hotel since before COVID-19, thanks to more tourists visiting the Emerald City. Solene Arif shares what's behind the rise in visitors. Dublin has over 700 hotel rooms, including bed and breakfast. Soon, they'll have almost a hundred more suite style rooms. Just having that extended stay opportunity is going to be amazing. Miriam Lewis has been with the Dublin Visitor Center for almost 10 years. Her job is to help visitors find a home away from home. We've seen so many more people that are just coming in and saying, you know, we're just going to stay in Dublin for a few days. What is there to do? She says between restaurants, events and entertainment options, finding things to do is a breeze. But finding some place to stay can be harder. It's going to be a a good weekend. Phil Patel owns the Hampton Inn and Suites on Travel Center Boulevard. He says sometimes business is too good and they have to turn away customers. We're uh, Monday to Thursday, we basically 100% occupancy hotel here. And he said weekends in the summertime are constantly busy, which is why he's happy to see another hotel neighbor next door. There's growth in the industry that we see uh, more and more Industries are coming in town and as, as industry comes, they're bringing in more and more people in town. Lewis says thanks to digital marketing, a new Visit Dublin website and going hard with print ads, more people have been discovering the Emerald City. And so it kind of flip flops. You have the workforce during the week and then you have the leisure travel and your tournaments on the weekend. So it kind of balances out. Reporting in Dublin, Celine Air, 13 WMEZ News. Lewis said in 2022, tax revenue from tourists saved every Lawrence County household more than $400. The new hotel is a 92-room home to suites. It's going to open in September on Travel Central Boulevard. Macon has also seen tourism growth, so much so a travel guide by CNN named Macon one of America's best towns to visit. Macon got high scores for its musical heritage, cultural attractions, and architecture. Megan Bibb Mayor Lester Miller said the county took in $14 million in hotel taxes last year. Visit Megan reported attractions like the Cherry Blossom Festival brought in more than 180,000 visitors from all over. And the Megan Christmas light extravaganza attracted 850,000 visitors. And with those annual events, plus the Atrium Health Amphitheater, the mayor expects hotel taxes to jump even more this year.